Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new episode of Craven Oak. Today we'll be off to Le Mans in France in a second. But first up, the key to success. Finish in front of Tony Arbolino in the standings. Development is key to a winning season. Ahern's performance should convince Calix to invest resources needed to be competitive. So over the next few races, if I can stay ahead or beat Tony Arbolino, who is on probably one of the best bikes in the class, I will have a bit more... Shall we say knockback from Calix? I'll get a bit more when it comes to the summer break. I might get some more upgrades. But we have a social media response message here from what it looks to be Samkat Chantra. Give it out about my riding again. Well, you're all bloody donkeys anyway, single one of you. So we're going to go to the race now. France today. Track I don't particularly love, but can be fun on a Moto2 bike. So at the end of free practice one, I'm currently in P1. Everything seems okay. Don't, again, particularly feel great. I'm um, finding it very hard to be consistent and do a lap without running wide or running off or just making huge mistakes. But the pace seems there. Uh, now, I had to go power three for most of it, but as we saw in the last episode, the AI have so much speed over me in terms of power three. I have to just run the extra fuel all the time just to be somewhat competitive. So... Looks like difficulty again in this week's race is just slightly around where I need it to be. I'd imagine in practice they'll always be a bit slower and then come qualifying a race they'll find time. So I reckon we'll struggle probably for a top five in the race with their kind of the speed they'll find. But I'm interested to see how qualifying is going to go. So it is unvariable weather at the moment so it's critical. My first lap here in the session is good. You just don't know if the rain drops. Typically, in games gone by, like the Formula 1 games, when the rain comes out, the AI can still do much better lap times than you, so I have fears that might be still an issue. Well, it might be an issue on this game too, but we're going to do a couple laps. Hopefully it stays dry until I can get a good lap in and we see where that puts us from there. So as we come to start our last lap, we're currently in provisional pole by just over two tenths. The rain has held off, thankfully, so we've definitely got a decent lap in. Not as quick as I went in free practice, but... Still at the moment is enough for pole position, but saying that, our certain Spaniard by the name of Pedro Costa is three red sectors so far. He comes into the last corner in a second. We're going to see if we can improve this lap and maybe just hold our pole position at Le Mans. So, we've been screwed over by the game and I'll tell you why. Kept going that lap, it said that Pedro Costa had not improved and he went back to the pits. I rode around and the timer has gone up, so I cut the corner, end the session. I've been demoted three positions by a Pedro Costa who is in the pits. What a load of shit this game is like. I'll edit it back so you'll see that as I ran off in the uh, Espelou chicane, basically Pedro Costa was in the pits and somehow he's managed to improve after the time has gone. So what the fuck is this about like? absolutely fuming once again every time we play this game I just get annoyed like so I've gone medium front hard rear uh, Gavin was saying a lot of soft tires and there's a good few on the grid Dixon Vietti both soft front soft rear uh, for me over full race I just don't think I can make a soft last not the way you have to ride to keep up the eye uh, the eye clearly don't have tire wear which is a uh, great fun uh, I am thinking Going forward, will I turn off the fueling and tires because it doesn't like I'm just penalizing myself against over P or, or like OPII already? Like, so I'm thinking maybe is it is it kind of ruining the Kremlin having tire on and having consumption on because it clearly shows that they do not have any fuel economy built in or tire wear. Like, where are they all going on this warm lap? I've taken the lead, but. Let me know in the comments if you do want to see me turning off. There was a few suggestions previously that it makes it a bit more enjoyable the career mode when you're on a, a kind of a level heading when you don't have to battle them with a handicap in the race. Five red lights. It's a decent start. A decent start. We've gone to the outside. I actually turn my fuel down too early. Turn it back up for a split second. Massive understeer. We're gonna have a look for the inside of Arbolino. It just doesn't turn on the braking. Already being penalized for not using the power three. It's gonna get old very quick in this game. It's 
So we look like we're holding station at the moment. Quite nicely, MP5. But as always, my fuel consumption is going to be my main condition and where I could place in today's race. Turning into a bit of a lonely race for me as I'm definitely not catching the guys in front. And the guys behind just don't seem to have the pace. I'm trying to save fuel and not use power 3 so maybe if I start to use a bit more power 3 I could probably close them down but for now a real lonely kind of race for me in the middle of nowhere P4. Been a much better lap this one for me. I've definitely taken a good lot of time out of them. On my way to setting probably the fastest lap of the race. So I reckon I can still win this one. It'll just be a balance of tyre wear, fuel management and just trying to close the gap. We still have plenty of time yet. We'll see around lap 9 I think is where I'll start to push for the win. Until then I'm just trying to keep my powder dry really and try and keep in touch with the front 4. So we have 3, 3.5 three laps left to go and I'm just starting to try and turn the screw now. Started using a bit more fuel over the last few laps to see can I make a bit of a gap. We have six and a half seconds back to Albert Arenas behind us, so it looks like we really are the star of four in today's race, really, miles ahead of an else. But I've just used as much fuel as I can kind of allow myself to use at this point of the race just to get to this point. So getting close to them is one thing, getting past them and keeping ahead of them with their power advantage going to be really difficult here with a couple of laps to go. Starting to yo-yo a bit though, I can take a 10 to 2 out here and there, but over the full lap I just don't have what it takes to get with them unfortunately, is what it's looking like. 3 full laps to go. Just a bit on the limit everywhere to be honest. And I can't really afford to run power through everywhere, which is what would need is needed really, I just need extra power negate the difference of my own misriding at performance. Also having a few days off the game as well hasn't really helped me because it just feels so bad coming back to this game. I'm so rusty, everything feels like it's working against me. Especially Connor entry, everything break hard, the bike just doesn't turn. It's very annoying but we're getting there now though. But we are bang on scheduled fuel. It's going to start flashing. Here we go. Very weird audio glitch there. I know it's meant to make noises, but it's so loud. So we're pretty much this is close. We're going to get on power three in it because we're out of it. Next couple of laps now as we obviously we got a warning for that. Next couple laps now we're going to have to try and save up and then go for one big push towards the end. Out of here we're going to just get eaten if we don't have power 3. I have to risk it. Bit of power 3. Another fast lap of the race to me. Just to keep with them 1.6. Again in the fast stuff they're so much quicker than me. In the power part of the track. We're going to have to risk it on the front through corners like that. And then in these little corners here, there's just so many corners that are essentially hairpins where you need the drive out, where you need the power three. Right with them now. I'm going to use a small bit of power three just to get out of the corner and then hopefully the slipstream will take over and just keep me with them at this point. We're going to just try and manage now for a couple of laps. We're gaining a small bit of fuel because it's going to be hard to overtake even though I'm this close. Arbolino knows giving us all the slipstream. So he's going to keep us... Just happy enough Lee in this race, but for now, our three is off limits. Gonna be a titanic battle for this one. Could go either way. It's really surprising to see Sonke Chantra up at the front here. Or exit. Another little fast lap though. Look what they do. They pull nearly a second away from me on this opening straight here. There's so much everywhere else, it's so annoying. But 
Looks like we've saved up a touch of fuel there now, so that's good. We just don't have anything for not in the high fuel modes. Lap and half to go. We're on the podium. Can I go if I can get on the podium at all? Bad exit there. First guy on the front end. Exit. I have to just. We have a look. We go for up the inside of Arbolino, but he just turns across me. I go for the cup back. But it's contact. We're gonna have to keep on the outer on the grass. Save a bit of fuel again. I really, if I wanted to win this race, need to get that moved on there. I'll go so wide, I'm gonna have me. Oh, I tried to get on the throttle early, but their soft hards are just holding up better than my hards. Not a great exit. That could be it. That could have been done. I'm gonna have to save the power. Surprise move on Arbolino. Wasn't there. Oh, I really needed the extra power out of there. Ah, oh, it's done, it's done, it's done. Stupid physics this game. Now, why that happened? Like, I did nothing different there to any other lap, and bike just goes straight on. And unfortunately, fuel is just too critical at the moment. We're not going to be able to do it here. Try and gain as much time back here on the brakes, but we're just too far back, I'm afraid, after that mistake. Oh, we lost the front there very slightly. Could we somehow put a dive on Arbolino? Oh, struggling to pull it down. It's just overriding now, and this game punishes you so much for doing that. It's going to be close, we're going to have a look! It's such a, an aggressive dive, but it wasn't to be. Up to the line. It's going to be P4. The race, that's not even the finish line. There's the finish line. <laughs> So many glitches in this game. Let's take a look at the final results of this Moto2 race. So Albert Arenas, who was in P5, sets the fast lap at whole weekend in the race, of course. Some Kachantra in fairness to wins it. A smiling, smiling Highland rider for the Honda Asia team has really come up trumps today. Arbolino, P3, Acosta P2. I slim slim pickings for me today after what was annoying issues in Qualifying, if I was on pole, maybe I could have just got to start. And if you get to start really against easy out, you might just be able to manage a bit better. The fueling was just so harsh around here. I needed power three everywhere, and I just couldn't really put up the fuel any more than I did. Um, that mistake into Le Chapelle on the last lap, I did nothing wrong. The bike just pushed wide, understeered. As soon as I touched the brakes, I was out of it, and you saw how close I came on the penultimate corner to passing Arbolino. So maybe. The podium was on if the game didn't screw me over on that last lap, but unfortunately it is P4 today. Championship boys, Arbolino remains second, 11 points behind me, he gains a few points back. Arenas is in P3, 30 points back, so already there's a massive gap between me, Arbolino and the rest of the field. So thankfully we still hold the lead and we have a nice, nice cushion over the rest of the field bar Arbolino. So we now are the challenger. So I don't know what that does about our more XP maybe, but not too sure exactly. But we're going to leave it there for today's episode. Oh, we have a new message from, I believe it's Arbolino. Is that just pictures hard to see? This weekend, Le Mans left us some data to analyze Ahern. Farmer is certainly a factor, and under the rest of the future, we reach our goal. So basically, he's saying, Just keep an eye on me, as you'd imagine he would, since I'm already leading the championship after winning. Was it two races I won so far in this year? I've already forgotten what I've... Uh, managed to do this year but we're gonna leave it there for today's episode hope you have enjoyed if you did drop a like down below subscribe to see more i should catch y'all in a future video thanks for watching see you soon